What's up, dude? It's Chooch back with another one. Today, I'm out here riding my electric unicycle, the in motion V12, ripping around, and went out here on this frozen lake and decided to go for a cruise around on it. Uh, you can see there's other marks out here. Some ice fishermen had been out here. Some people have been building like a little snow fort and whatnot. So I was like, man, let me try the unicycle out. Let me just see how it is and see if I can, you know, go and see if it's sturdy. And it, it seemed like it was definitely thick enough. And I rode around for a minute, saw a guy over here catching some uh, fish and, and uh, doing some ice fishing. They cut holes out here everywhere and they're able to put a lure in or whatever and ice fish or and set up a little tent or either you can just go out there for the day and just chill outside and just ice fish but it was a lot of fun and i was really impressed with the in motion v12's ability with just the stock this is the v12 high torque i was very impressed with the v12 high torque's um stock tire on just um ice basically this is just snow covered ice um and that's what gave it a little bit more traction that the little bit of snow on top of the ice is what was able to give it a little bit more friction um r stuff like that where it's really kind of melted and a lot of footprints that's a lot harder to ride in than this stuff with just a little kind of dusting of, of snow on top of it but you could really lean into it and go and it is a ton of fun it is a total blast uh, because you can feel that tire braking traction the entire time when you're leaning but it doesn't you know it's if you do fall you got some you know buffer there to, it's not going to hurt too bad you'll just kind of slide and hit the snow but also it's just a ton of fun because you can kind of make it break traction on demand and just kind of you know do power drifts and uh make you kind of step to the side or whatever but a faster euc guys a faster euc with a more aggressive knobby tire would definitely be a lot more fun because you would be able to lean hard be able to still break traction while you're leaning but it would just be rooster tailing mega rooster tails of snow if you had like a really aggressive knobby tire on it and it'd be so much fun like right there you see that like that's just leaning hard and it's just starting to rooster tail out and it's a total blast guys like if you have a frozen lake near you or something like that that's actually frozen solid enough to ride on give it a shot dude it's a ton of fun uh, go slow at first kind of understand how um how your unicycle and performs i'm on a frozen lake right behaves. now just cruising along on the emotion b12 and enjoy the day out here this is a very unique way to get around a lake i tell you that a frozen lake and then if it feels if you feel confident with it give it a shot it's just it really is a total blast i was not going out here i had no idea that i would be going out to ride on ice ride to the, the island went out here there's like a ride. snowman and out there in the middle of nowhere like, hey, dude. Look, you know, there's some tracks and other people's tracks that are out there. let me see let me give it a shot real quick to head out here and, and ride and see what's up and it turned out to be a total blast i was able to get across the entire lake go out here and see some snowmen that people built in the middle of the lake uh, you do have to have momentum. If you, having momentum definitely helps a lot. Like if, if you're carrying your momentum, you can start going faster and faster and faster. But once you stop, you got to start building your momentum back up again to get up to speed. Uh, because it, it really is just just due to the nature of that snow, that little extra layer. There's probably a, a you know a dense layer of compacted, like an inch and a half, two inches of snow on top of this. And that's just kind of what makes you have to lean really aggressively into it. And it kind of does put a lot of strain on the calf muscles in this spe uh, specific type of conditions right here. Because you are leaning so aggressively into it to, to make the thing go. But it was a total blast, man. So much fun. I love doing stuff like this with the electric unicycles. Something a little bit different. And just trying, you know, trying new stuff. Seeing what these things can do. Because they are so versatile. You can do all kind of stuff with these things, man. Like... I still haven't found the limits of them. I've had them, you know, I've taken these things everywhere, man. And it just, it amazes me the stuff that I can keep finding to do with them. It's fun and entertaining. If y'all are wondering about this electric unicycle right here, this is the InMotion V12 High Torque. Many of you from the channel know that I absolutely adore this wheel. I really do. And it's it's simply because it works so well, man. Like, I, you see what I've put this wheel through, guys. And I'm not afraid to ride this thing through rain, through water, through puddles, and snow. Um, I mean, I really... You, the people that have seen this wheel since I've gotten it from day one on the channel have just seen the hell I've put this wheel through. 
and it just keeps on going guys and there's a reason that i'm riding this wheel right now dudes so the s22 pro that was sent out it had two missing bolts very important missing bolts in it and the ones that were sent by eagles to fix it were the wrong ones and that's been a whole scenario to be able to get that thing um, back up and running and it's just been sitting there the t4 is still broken and out of all the wheels I have, man, the InMotion V12 still works perfectly fine, and it just keeps rolling, and, and you know, there's definitely, there's other wheels out there that are more high performance than this one, that would be more fun to ride, and, you know, jump, and suspension, and all that, but when it comes to something I can just recommend to the typical person out there that's wanting to spend their hard-earned money on an electric unicycle, this is what I recommend every time. And I gotta keep recommending it, man, because it still keeps holding up over all those other wheels, man. Like, out of all the other new releases I keep getting, out of all the other garbage I keep getting, this one holds up more than any of them. And I don't understand why. I don't understand why this V12 is so good to me. Um, but it, 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 my V12 high speed and this V12 high torque have just been phenomenal machines. They really have. And they're granted, they really are not the fastest electric unicycles out there. They are not, you know, they are not the longest range ones. But for somebody just in the market for something that they, for a first time buyer or somebody that just wants something that's tried and true and good, you cannot go wrong with it. It's great for bashing, doing stuff like this, doing, you know, just random stuff. It's great for trail riding it's great for doing jumps on it it's great for city commuting it's great for all kinds of stuff guys it is such a phenomenal product um i i, I really can't recommend it enough like i really can't and even though in motion in motion um i don't know who it is guys something's going on with either in motion or either the retailers saying um basically is why i can't get that the v13 in i don't know what the hold up is people have been giving me the total run around i don't know what the problem is i don't know who who's the one that's actually trying to keep me from reviewing the thing but somebody doesn't want me to review it based on the title of one of my old videos simply because the title of one of my old videos that was literally a clickbait title saying like don't buy the in motion uh v12 is what it came down to be the in motion saying now that it wasn't because of the uh video where i crashed it and was going you know i crashed it and said it was because the tire pressure was too high in the end and all that it said it wasn't because of that video it was because of one of my other videos that had a clickbait title to it that said don't buy the in motion v12 but i went on in the video to say it was a phenomenal product you know how some YouTubers will do that? It's like, hey, don't buy this or whatever it is. But then you click on the video, actually, and it's like giving it praise. And it's called clickbaiting, you know? It's it, technically clickbaiting, but it was actually a video explaining a lot of good information about the V12. I just made it an interesting title. And then the people at In Motion chose not to watch the video, but then just base based their whole idea i guess of sending me the v13 on that one video title is what i'm hearing now but you know i don't know what to believe honestly i have no idea what to believe anymore i've gotten to run around from so many different people about the v13 and whatnot that i really i honestly i don't really care anymore um most people are going to be buying the v12 anyways because no one's really going to be spending four thousand dollars i don't think on an electric unicycle unless they're total ballers unless you got and not a lot of people have money like that so i'm just gonna you know be smart about it enjoy my v12 high torque and tell you guys that are in the market for an electric unicycle that the v12 high torque or v12 high speed is what i would honestly go with i was going to be spending like my hard-earned money i mean you get 1740 watt hours in this thing you can go plenty fast it's not nearly as heavy so you can actually jump it and do all kind of little tricks and stuff you would never be able to do on the v13 and i think this this wheel just suits a lot more people than the four thousand dollar v13 does it really really does i've even had this wheel guys and the other crazy thing about this wheel too is how much i've been able to jump this wheel too that's another thing i've been doing kind of off camera is jumping this wheel a lot guys and one thing about wheels is if you're jumping them a lot over time especially wheels with not with no suspension is stuff will loosen up in it like with my old um b my um b m super pro 
So that one, dudes, like the axle bolts in that thing, just because it doesn't have the new updated design, hitting jumps and jumps over and over again, it would loosen them. Dude, with the V12 high torque, it I don't understand it, man. You can literally jump this thing, crash it, bash it, and it just keeps going, man. Mine has been totally phenomenal. And that whole thing that people are talking about with the V12, the whole firmware thing where it'll kind of ghost and it will kind of accelerate around a corner and, and kind of ghost ride, I have not had any problems with that. And some people in one of my videos said, hey, it looks like it did that in one of the videos where I spun out in like a corner on it. And if that did happen, guys, it may have happened in that one event right there. I don't even know. I didn't notice it. I thought it was completely my rider error, but I have not, I dead honestly have not had any type of problem with the, with the thing automatically accelerating like whenever I corner on it or anything like that. I have not had that problem. Um, it may do it because of like a new firmware update or something. But one thing I do with EUCs is I'm not one of the first ones to, to update my EUC or anything like that. I'm just one of the ones that kind of waits um, and as long as I can. If it still works, it, my whole thing is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's just the way I think about with updates too and stuff. If it's still working fine, I'm not going to update it. So um, that's just kind of one of the... You don't have to follow my advice on that. That's just kind of the way I see it.